what's up worship leader hangout today uh, we're gonna learn a gospel progression so anytime you're learning another genre sometimes it's helpful to understand like what are some elements of the language of that genre so for example in Christian contemporary music you can probably sum most songs up into about uh, three different progressions which would be like the six four one five or maybe some songs start on the four where it's the four one five six or maybe the song may end up starting on the one in like ccm so In gospel, uh, there are some pretty standard progressions, and today we're going to go over one um, that when I learned when I was younger, um, I mean, it helped me to realize, oh, that's what this song is doing. Oh, that's what this song is doing. And so you can use this in like, um, maybe for like talk music, or you could just... Um, hear different songs that maybe you're like playing CCM songs and you realize, oh, okay, this gospel progression kind of fits along with this CCM song over here. So the gospel progression that we're going to work on um, is a 7-3-6 minor 5-1-4, okay? And this is what it sounds like. And that progression, oh my gosh, there are a ton of songs. Um, a couple I wrote down were like, How Great Is Our, How Great Is Our God. So normally many of us may play it like this, um, with the one, six, uh, maybe a four, and then a five progression. So how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Well, you can use that gospel progression around this, which would be a uh, how great. So another song would be like, um, What a Beautiful Name It Is. And I actually did uh, like a gospel flavor version of it. Um, and this is the same seven, three, six progression. So What a Beautiful Name It Is progression is, um, it's a one, six, four, all right? So we noticed that some of those same uh, numbers are in this gospel progression so the way you can do it like be like this uh, now we're going to use the seven three six minor five one four all right um another song is i think maybe here i am to worship so i think was that an e here we do it again Five, one, four. Okay, so trust me. Learn this progression. Um, I'm not sure if I said it already, but you could also use this in your talk music. So, like an example of that would be, um, let's say we're in the key of F, right? to the four and after you get to the four uh, you could either just go straight to the five and then you can go back to the one okay and so let's talk for a second about um, 
the actual like chord extensions I'm using. So let's go back to the key of D flat because that's my favorite key to play this thing in. Um, I'm using a uh, like a C um, half diminished seven to an F sharp five sharp nine to a B flat minor nine. A flat minor nine or seven, however you want to look at it, because I'm really just keeping the seven on top. Okay, uh, this is a D flat nine, and then this is a G flat, um, just a G flat, really major seven. But see, I, I don't really like playing thirds, so I take out the third and I play the nine here. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to provide a chord chart of this 736 progression um, in every key for you to practice. Um, something else that I would say that you should practice when uh, doing this progression is when you're going to that three, practice sliding up to the third. Um, so this is what I mean. And then you could do it here on the one again, going to the third of the D flat. Okay, and then you should be able to do that in every key. So I can C, okay? And so what I'm doing is, if when I'm playing the, like for example, when I'm playing the C, I'm just sliding up from two, sharp two to the three and then when I'm playing that um, when I'm playing the three I'm doing the same thing whatever major chord I'm in whatever major chord I'm playing I'm just sliding up to the major third so all right all right well hey that's it so thanks so much for watching um, Remember to do a couple of things. Remember to subscribe. Remember to download the chord chart in the links below. And um, also leave uh, a comment in the comment section. We really want to hear from you. Uh, maybe there's something you want to learn in particular. Maybe there's something you've heard and you're like, what is this? Um, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we are a resource for uh, people leading worship and people leading worship are just not the guys that are singing in front of the congregation but it's really anybody that the congregation looks to uh, to lead them to respond to what God has done for them and so please feel free to reach out for, to us um, hey thanks again for watching and remember great worship leaders are always learning thanks again